Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. Today we're gonna be going over how I organize all of my vacation memories. So for the longest time, you know, you go on your vacation, you take pictures with your camera, with your phone. What happened to me last time is usually on vacation I only take my phone with me and my phone, I ended up getting a new phone. I thought I had backed up my old phone and it didn't end up backing up and I lost all of my pictures from a six day vacation in Cabo with my boyfriend Chris last May. It was actually kind of devastating. I was able to keep some of the photos from the trip when we did some of the adventures over there. However, all the videos, all the photos on my phone were lost forever. So there are a couple of different things that I do to make sure that all of my vacation memories for each vacation is, are put together in one unit. So that includes, so one of the things that I like to do on vacation is I like to go to those penny machines where you can crank it and it smashes the penny. I collect those from each place that I visit. There's a lot of other things though that I like to keep with my vacation memories. It's my vacation budget. It's the cash envelopes with my spending trackers on the back that I use for that vacation. It has a lot of, I have a lot of information in these vacation memory envelopes that I'm gonna be showing you very quickly and how I organize all of that, all the different stuff that come with being on vacation. The great thing about it is, is that not only are each vacation kept together, but they don't take up a lot of space and they're really affordable to do. So today, let me show you how I organize all of my vacation memories. I try sharing my story to remind readers that there is a way out. That with hard work, dedication, determination, motivation, it's all about having a plan for your money. And that's what gives you the true control. Holy crap, it just changed my life. And they're like, oh man, Nico. It takes time, it takes dedication, it takes work. But no more credit card debt. So this is how I currently organize all of my different vacation memories. I like to keep them in these plastic clear envelopes that look like this. Now all the different accessories and things that I am talking about in today's video, I'll put a link in the description of this video for all this type of stuff, but they're essentially just these plastic envelopes that are, yeah, plastic envelopes that have these plastic little snaps. It's great because they don't tear. If you spill something on them, they're not gonna um, affect anything on the inside and they don't wrinkle. And this is how I store everything. For each vacation, I print off on the computer my favorite picture from that vacation, as well as a little illustration that says where we went and the date. So this makes it really great if you're quickly searching for a specific vacation. Maybe you wanna show a friend or a family member the photos or the different um, mementos that you got on the, on the vacation, then you can very quickly see it on the front cover of the envelope. Inside each vacation, I like to keep a couple of different things. One is um, my itinerary. This is like our, um, our flight plan, hotel tickets, and anything else. So I had, um, I don't wanna show you the top because it has personal information, but it also has like, we did a couple of Cabo adventures. And so I also printed out the tickets for that. Now I travel with this. This is what I travel with in my laptop bag. So I have all of that important information with me while I travel and I stick it in the envelope when I got home, when I get home. You can see that I surprised, <laughs> I surprised my boyfriend Chris for his 30th birthday with a trip to Cabo. Um, and so this was just something that I put inside his birthday present. Um, as a surprise for him to tell him about the trip. Kept that. This was the trip that I lost all the videos and photos on my phone. Luckily, though, we did some different adventures, like one of the ones you saw here, we went and swam with the dolphins. That was in May of 2018. They gave us photos in these little flash drives and these little plastic holders. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so great because then you're not worrying about losing the photos or videos on your phone, especially um, I'll tell you in a minute why it really helps because what I found was it took up a lot of space on my phone while I was traveling. All the, the lengthy videos and the photos. I like to take a lot of photos and videos while I'm on vacation. And so that's what I have in that one. Let me show you very quickly my New York City trip because that has a lot more stuff in it and how I organize it. 
So I like to, even, doesn't matter how big or small the trip is, I do this for all vacations, all trips, because like this was a four day trip we did over to um, a Mariners game. It was me and my boyfriend's very first time seeing a Mariners game for both of us. So it has all the different things. Like I kept our, our little bus passes as well as you'll see here's, I mean, our itinerary, our game tickets from our, the email that they sent me. It also has on this one, the cash envelopes that I use for this vacation. And I believe if I go like this, there's my, <laughs> there's my, my flattened penny from that trip as well. For my New York City trip that I just got back spending seven days in New York, here is how I have everything organized. It's the same thing, I have my favorite photo. I took my mom on this trip, but here is another great thing that I keep inside all of my envelopes my vacation budget and spending. This is really important. So when I get home, the first thing I do is I go over my spending on my vacation. Now I do track my spending while I'm there and I do that using cash envelopes that look like this. So I have, as I'm spending cash on my vacation, I track all of my spending so I know at any point in time how much money I have left to spend on that category for that trip. I keep these inside my envelopes as well, but when I get home, I do a more detailed breakdown of my spending costs on something. It could just be a piece of paper from a notebook, but mine looks like this for this trip. This is really handy to have because let's say for instance in the future you go, like I go back to New York. It's a great estimate to base your new budget on. You could go back and say, okay, well, how much did I spend in taxi costs? How much did I spend on food costs? Did I overspend? Did I underspend? It's a great way to start making those estimates for your new budget if you're traveling back to the same place. Here is, like I said, what I travel with um, in my laptop bag. So it's just my vacation budget. This one, I actually have my vacation packing list. Um, as well as the itinerary and then um, as well as our city pass information. So that is in the envelope as well. Uh, pictures from the trip. These ones I didn't get digital copies, so I do only have the hard copies, but they're inside my envelope, nice and protected. I like to keep everything from my trip. So we went and saw Pretty Woman. And here's the little brochure that they give you when you get to the theater inside, actually, I believe, yeah, is my ticket to the, brought to the show. My official New York City guide, my map for the 9-11 memorial, <laughs> my ticket for Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, plane tickets. Here's another little brochure for Pretty Woman. But what I really want to show you, there's my flattened penny for this trip. I think this, yeah, this one's for Ellis Island. But what I really want to show you is how I am organizing my photos and videos. So inside each of these envelopes, you're going to see these little clear flash envelope, uh, little envelopes on the inside. They look like this. You can buy these in bulk, I think in packs of six, but they're self-adhesive little flash drive envelopes. I just stick them to the inside of the envelope that way. You're not searching inside the envelope for all the for your um, little flash drives. The flash drives I also buy in bulk from Amazon and they look like this. Now these are the ones that I'm, I still have not used. They're for future vacations or trips for photos for those, but you can buy them in bulk. They're pretty affordable. And this is what I store my videos. Now I took a ton of video on my New York trip, which is why I used to. I rarely ever used to, but they're stuck on there. And the moment I get home, I transfer the videos and photos from my vacation onto these flash drives. It frees up space on your phone, as well as now you have everything in one place for your videos and photos for that specific vacation. So that's what I have inside my New York City vacation envelope. You can actually fit quite a bit inside these clear envelopes. So let me show you very quickly how I make 
these illustrations in a free program called Canva. This is a free program that I like to use for a lot of my home projects. It's canva.com and this is how I create my favorite photo with the illustration for my vacations on my envelopes. What I do is once you go to canva.com, you just create an account using an email address and you set up a password. Once you're in and it looks like this, the first thing that I do is create my template. And what that looks like is, it is a template. I use this template right here called US Letter Document. If you click on that, it's just a blank white screen or a, bank, a blank white page. So I upload my favorite photo from the vacation. Now if I just go to my desktop and I pick out one here, let's say for instance this is this one. So you just hit upload image and it's gonna upload the image to your image library. If you click on it, it's going to add it to your template and you can resize it and make it as big as you want. I make it as big as a screen. So let's say for instance, I wanted to use this photo for my New York City vacation. It is now covering the whole page of my template. I then go over to the left hand side and these are all the different things that you can do with this template. If you click on elements, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can add. You can add charts, you can add shapes. I use the shapes function to add the illustration to my photo. And I look for just a really cool illustration. It could be anything that you want. There's a ton of free ones. There's also paid ones as well. Just make sure that you keep an eye out for where it says free versus paid. So maybe for this one, I want to use this circle right here. So if you click on it, it's going to add it to your template. Using the arrows, you can resize it. And maybe I want this one up in the left-hand corner. Once you, if you have the shape clicked on like this and it's selected like this, you can come up here and change the color of the shapes. So right now this is set to gray and white. Maybe I would like to do a blue and a light blue. You can make it whatever colors or however big that you want. Now I want to add text to this because I want it to say where I went and the date. If you come back over here to your tools, there's an area called text. If you click on that, I always, I like to do add a heading. So I add a heading, it just makes the text a little bit larger. This is where you can type in where you went, so we put New York here. Now maybe, for instance, you don't want this black. Maybe you want this white. If you go up here to all the colors with the letter A, you can change the color of your text. And let's say, for instance, I'd like to add a date so I know when I took this trip. So let's say May 2019. And you can just drag it on top of your circle. And there's a whole bunch of different illustrations that you can choose. I'm just showing you all the different things that you can do. So this is how I would go ahead and make that picture, my favorite picture from the trip with where we went and the date. From there, if you're ready to print it out, you come down to this little arrow or go up to this little arrow right here. You click on the arrow and there's a whole bunch of download options. You can download it as a picture, a JPEG, a PDF. I like to do the PDF print. It's a high quality print image. So once you hit download, it's going to download it to your computer and it automatically gets downloaded right here onto your computer where you can print it off if you have a home printer. So that is how I currently create the photo and the illustration for all of my travel memory envelopes. If you found